Hello, I'm John Endicott. I'm the president of Wusong University, but I'm also the vice chancellor here at, at Sobridge International School of Business. And this is a very, very unusual school of business because here we are in Korea and in one of the, the areas called the Silicon Valley of Korea, but we teach all in English. So uh, it would be a great opportunity for those who don't speak Korean to come to Korea, learn about Korea, and also actually learn Korean, but learn, of course, about business and economics and all the things that you need to do to become a successful businessman or businesswoman. Uh, we started actually in 2007, and we started with 29 students. Today we have about 1,175. And what does really make the difference here is that we have students from 51 different countries. That's five one, and that's quite a lot because from diversity really becomes strength. From this diversity, you get different ideas and you get creativity and innovation. To me, the most important and most enjoyable aspect of diversity is the National Culture Day, which we do once a year. In the National Culture Day, we ask every student to wear the costume of their own country. And of course, that was a very big problem for me as an American, what do I wear? The way I settle that issue is my mother is a Scot from Scotland. So every year at National Culture Day, I wear a kilt. I'm the only one in the building that has a man's skirt. <laughs> but it's a really great bonding sort of exercise. And other students see this and they realize they have pride in their own uniform and costume also. So it's a wonderful way for everybody to give and take, see what's different, see what's new, but realize that it doesn't matter. What matters is how everybody comes together. And I think here at Soulbridge, that's the key to our really success and our learning mission. We wish to really create the business leaders of the 21st century. Soulbridge is also unique in that we have 80% of the faculty from foreign nations. About 13 different nations are here. The bulk of them, of course, are from the United States, but 12 other countries are represented. And uh, they have done a marvelous work, job in uniting the diverse population we have in school. We really put a lot of strength and stress on soft skills. And soft skills are those skills that are going to be the most useful to young business leaders in the 21st century. What are soft skills? Those are the skills that enable you to get them in front of a class and give a lecture and, a very, and sell, sell your product. But most importantly, it's working as a team and knowing how to be a team member, a constructive team member. And when things are not going your way and you realize you don't know the subject, the ability to step back and let a colleague become the leader. These are all aspects of really becoming a skilled, soft skilled person. One of the ways that we, I think, develop our soft skills here in Soulbridge, is of course we have teams, we have team building, we have construction uh, case studies, but we also really use debate. Debate is one of the most wonderful ways to gain insights into subjects that you really didn't know about and also your ability to talk for and against different subjects. The one thing that we learned here is don't do debate too much because debate is a win-lose situation. The debater wants to win all the time. But in business, you want to win the contract, not necessarily win the debate. So we have also introduced really good courses on winning negotiations so that you can actually win your business. Everybody uses English. All Korean students have to take three years of Chinese. All international students have to take three years of Korean or Japanese. And so you come with your own language. You probably have some native language. You come then because you speak English, you also have the two languages already. By the time you graduate, you have a third. And this makes you a really ideal candidate or really most jobs in the business world. I really invite you to come, enjoy the challenge that's here at Solbridge, but 
any challenge is worthwhile and if you overcome it you'll succeed and enjoy a life that is really truly rewarding so i invite you all thank you very much